guys, Dr. Haida here. In our lesson, we've been talking about features which distinguish living things from non-living things. And then we talked about uh, evidence that life has left a creature. And I found this here in our driveway a few days ago. And I just wanted to use it to uh, point out uh, how we you know, know that death has occurred in a living thing. Uh, first off, we said living things move. And uh, if I take and poke this, I can make it move, but it's not moving on its own. All right, so this snake is showing one sign uh, that life has left and that it's no longer moving. Uh, second is that it responds to its environment. And so if I bleh, try to scare it, if I throw a rock on it, not get much reaction out of the snake anymore. Uh, living things require an energy source. Uh, obviously, this one is providing an energy source to other creatures at this point. There's some flies and ants on it. So other things are using it as an energy source. Uh, living things reproduce. This snake may at one time been a reproducing snake because I've seen other garter snakes up around our Quonset building and out in the yard while mowing. Uh, so this snake is not reproducing any longer. And then we said that living things grow and develop. And this snake has been out here now for about a week and I really haven't seen it getting any larger or changing in any of its capabilities. So this is just evidence uh, that we can use to determine whether a living thing is alive anymore or not, or if we can compare it to other inanimate objects, objects that uh, we know are not living things.